guys, Heritage Farms, Texas. Hey, this is Scott, Michelle, and Ashton. We got the family, and we are out at our own private beach this morning. Can't tell you where, it's an undisclosed location. This is all you guys are gonna get to see. But anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. We're gonna show you some wicking tubs here uh, later. Have a good one. As well, contacting you today from the South Texas office. That's right, we're back in beautiful, historic, Galveston Island. Say hello to my oldest daughter, who I'm so proud of, medical student, going into her third year. And today, we're working on her patio. And what we're working on is some self-wicking containers. And uh, the first place I saw these was, I uh, actually found a video from the Noble Foundation where they videoed a man from Oklahoma called Leon. And then uh, I actually went out on the YouTube search engine, found Gardening with Leon, which had a great channel, told all about these self-wicking pots. Also saw them on other places, like Arms Family Homestead was another one where uh, I saw a couple of videos on this. So I'm not inventing the wheel here. I'm just taking best practices and utilizing them myself. Check out the Heritage Farms uh, logo on here. You have to love this. So what we got here is a mineral tub. And one of the things that you do is you come down here and uh, I don't know if you'll see this or not, but about five inches from the bottom, you drill a hole. Pretty simple stuff. You got some landscape fabric, which is uh, basically about three by four feet. You got a couple of uh, six inch irrigation pipes perforated. What you do is you put these in here like so. You find your hole. You want the uh, pipe, which you angle it because you want it angled so that the water can run out because if it was flat, water can't run out. So you angle it so the water can run out. You put this at the opposite end of the hole. Take your landscape fabric. Cover it like so. What you do is you poke it in here like this and around it on the sides. We'll come back and fill this in later. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then what we were using here, which is some of the best stuff ever, is the miracle Grow potting mix. It's got the fertilizer and everything. Do not use garden soil because it will compact. You have to use potting mix. Leon says that's the number one mistake that you'll make. Cut this open. Pour a little bit in here, like so. Okay, we're gonna stop for a second. Getting it started is the most important thing. You put it down here on this end so that no dirt can get to your hole that you drilled earlier. Put the sides up. We want it not around the pipe. All right, now we're ready to put a little bit more in here. Okay, let's see what we got here. Kind of the same thing. We just kind of slide it around. Anything that sticks up, you just fold back over. All right, we're ready for a little more. Time, what we're going to put in this pot is we're going to use a little uh, purple fountain grass as our centerpiece. And you can see this is really not good. This pot, this plant should have been put in the ground a long time ago. Look at how it's root bound. So what we're going to do is just cut the pot off of it. Or at least try to. My goodness, that's terrible. That is not good. No wonder that pot was uh, so cheap. Gotta get some of these roots fluffed out. This is what a plant should not look like. 
We're just going to score these roots a little, try to get them ready to go outside. We'll dig down here, plant that as our centerpiece. Then we're going to put on one side a nice little potato vine. draping over the edge, like so. Then on the other one, we're gonna put lantana, which that's a lot to go in this little pot, but uh, let's see what we got going here. Now we're gonna finish off by putting a little bit more back in here, pop dressing. do is this is where we'll fill the, the tub with water. The water will actually come in the bottom. You'll have about five inches at the bottom of air and water mixture that will percolate or wick through the soil to the roots. You fill this up once a week and when the water starts running out of this hole right here you know it's full. It has about five inches of water in the base of that dill. So there you go. Simple concept. Kudos to Leon or Gardening with Leon in Oklahoma. Kudos to the Noble Foundation for posting Leon's video and Arms Family Homestead for helping me just get the exclamation point that I needed to try this. I'll show you some also uh, some pictures from the garden where we planted some of these and some other containers uh, back at our home office. Until then, hey, thanks guys. So here's what happens when you uh, finally fill up the container. So you have five inches here from the bottom to the top. And if you remember, inside was the round irrigation tubing. Well, you can see the tubing's at the top of it's about here. So you have about an inch of air that is trapped in this pot. And that's what makes it work, is roots need air, water, and moisture. And this keeps the roots from drowning. It allows air to uh, come in through the water tube and also through this hole. When the water reaches the desired level, it comes over to the side where the potting soil actually touches the bottom on the sides. And that's what wicks all the way up through there. So there you go. This is how you fill it up using the watering tube. When the water comes out, you stop. All right, guys, more to come. Okay, so in this pot, just to give you a little recap of what we planted, since this is Galveston, and since my daughter is in med school and she has no time to mess with it, we tried to pick out things that were extremely durable and gave a little pop and filler. So we got some lantana, very, very heat and drought resistant. We got some Mexican head there, I think is what that's called. Got a purple fountain grass and some potato vines. That's what's in this one. Come over here to this one. We have, once again, we got a uh, hibiscus that's been braided. Look at that ornamental trunk. A lot of time and effort in that. Potato vine. Over here on the back side, we have a Katie's Blue Texas Petunia. And then on this, I have no clue what this is actually called, but we got it. It's got little flowers and then another lantana. So anyway, some nice, pretty baskets. Hey guys, here we go. Uh, we're back at the uh, corporate offices of Heritage Farms, AKA my house, showing you uh, one of our containers. So here is one of our wicking containers. And uh, once again, this is from Leon 
gardening with Leon, got the idea from him, the Noble Foundation, also saw it on Arms Family Homestead. So here's one, uh, you can see the little hole right here once again where the water runs out when it's full. So in this one we put some potato vines and a purple fountain grass. Uh, Leon had one of these in one of his videos, you can see right there is the, uh, the tube to fill it up, but man, this thing has just exploded. Now we use the uh, miracle Grow potting soil or potting mix that actually has the uh, fertilizer mixed in, so that's all that you have to do. So here's another one that we have. This one has a little mixture of flowers in it. So uh, very, very nice. Here's another one. Well, you can see potato vines do really, really well in here. Another little mixture of stuff and another one. So uh, we're pretty pleased. You can kind of just do a mixture of stuff. That's great. Of course, my wife has some other flowers with, that are in different types of containers, but we have one, two, three, four. We have a fifth one over here. This was the last one that we did. It's just now starting to take off and grow a little bit. Little hibiscus. Beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, we're kind of getting there. I like them. I like them a lot. Hey, if you uh, like what you see, please hit the like button. Leave us a comment. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Would greatly appreciate it. Make sure you click the little bell also. And now I'll uh, walk you out to the garden here and show you uh, a couple out in the garden. All right, so here's one of the uh, self-looking pots with some uh, bell peppers in it. And you can see it's doing a really good job. Very, very nice job. Over here, what we did was we put some green beans in this one. So uh, once again, utilizing the wicking pots, trying them in different things, trying vegetables, plants, seeing what works. You can see I've got two more here and uh, we'll keep updating you. But so far, uh, I'll tell you what, man, these green beans we planted from seeds and they have just taken off like crazy. I'm hoping uh, pretty soon we'll start to see some actual beans on them. More info to follow.